Bridge to Joy Fi, and I am back at my art table, and I'm going to do another video of me testing Pinterest DIYs. Last time I did it, it was Christmas and Christmas present-centric DIYs, but now I'm just gonna do a bunch of different DIYs because creativity. So let's go. We're gonna be ambitious right away, and we're gonna recycle an old T-shirt into a bag. So I got my t-shirt, save the drama for your llama. Before I get started, I just wanted to say that this is a channel where we have fun and we, we don't take things too seriously. So these projects probably aren't gonna end up perfect. Maybe some of them will look cool, some of them won't. We're just here for a good time. Good times and laughs. So now let's go. I have my scissors and I have my t-shirt. Okay, first step is to cut the sleeves off. The sleeves are off. Next, we're gonna cut the neckline. Next, determine how deep you want the bag to be. Oh, uh, you turn it inside out. Draw a line. Oh, um, um, okay. And now, cut fringe. Whew. Now you have to tie the fringe together from the front and back. So basically, just tie a bunch of knots in this, and then you're good. <laughs> well, look at this cool bag. I can put stuff in it, like paint. Look, it didn't fall. And more paint, or more paint, or more paint. Oh man, look at this nifty bag. Honestly, this is pretty cool. It's not the most sturdy material, but It'll do. It'll do. So I would say this DIY is relatively easy to make. Don't need a lot of materials, but it just takes you a million years to tie everything together. Okay, so the next thing we'll be doing is making a travel shadow box. Now I have some Hawaiian sand and some Dutch shells, so let's try this out. Okay, I got this frame. Maybe it'll work. <laughs> Step one, open the frame. When frames have this kind of opening, it it drives me crazy. I can never open them. And how about, oh, wait a minute. And I have this postcard of the resort that we stayed in Hawaii, so I'm gonna put that as the background. If I can ever get this frame open. And I don't wanna bother cutting any construction paper out, so we're just gonna use the back of the sample. Get some tape. I don't have tape. I got double-sided tape. Meh. That, that's good. That's probably good. <laughs> now we need to do the shadowing part, which don't know how to exactly do this. I'm gonna just uh, pour this and hope it stays. Be sand. Be free. We'll just put this here. And let's see how it looks. Ah! Oh no, it's falling out. It's definitely falling out. Oh, oh, it's, it's okay. The shells look a little wonky. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it like this. Man, that looks cool. I should reposition the shells, but... I like it! That was really easy. Kind of a little stressful because this frame is not meant to be a shadow box with sand in it. I've been waiting to use that sand for a project for years now, and I've just never come around to doing it. Yeah! So, my analysis on my shadow box could be better. Could be a lot, lot worse. So, I went to Walmart before this, and I got a couple supplies, and one of them is this, and... Ampersand, ampersand, blah, 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 sand. And I saw this picture of where they put flowers on a wooden letter thing. And I have a lot of flowers, like look at this. So I have all these flowers and I just need them for projects. So let's flower, let's flower some hot glue onto this wooden letter. Hello, my enemy. We meet again. So here it is. It did not take me an hour to do this. I had to leave to go to a little kitty soccer game and then eat. But I will say that while I was making this, um, I burnt my thumb. <sighs> and then I went downstairs to eat. And then I burned another finger on my bowl of ravioli. Well, look at this. I got the flowers. I'll probably add some more flowers to fill in the details, but yeah. So a lot of my flowers were a bit bigger, and so it made it hard to see kind of the details of the curves and stuff. So I just went from the back and just kind of cut so then you can see things a bit better. So then, yeah. So look, now you can kind of distinguish what it is. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh my. Um, I'll fix that. I'll fix that later. This probably would be a lot cooler with smaller flowers and 
flowers that are all the same. But it's cool. I'm gonna put it somewhere in my room. Okay, so when I went to Walmart, I also got flip-flops because I need flip-flops. And I didn't find a particular post on Pinterest, but I'm sure there's one where you put flowers on the part of the flip-flop. So I'm gonna do that now and try not to burn myself a second time. We got our flipper floppers. I don't think I have enough of something to go all the way around. So we'll have to improvise. <laughs> okay, time to get some sort of pattern going with this. Nice, so I'm just gonna assume that these work. I'm very disappointed. I thought I had more flowers than this, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Flower flip-flops. Maybe not functional, but fun. And the last thing that I got from Walmart is some craft sticks because I saw this picture of, what are they called, crate coasters. And no Rachel Joy Fi DIY video would be complete without coasters. That should be enough. So I can't find the instructions, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it and just to, just look out at the picture and see. This, this should be easy. This should so be. So I'm just gonna cut off the ends of all of these. Okay, now we have to construct it into a palette-looking coaster. Okay. Um. Um. Well, apparently you should cut the ends of these, but. I mismeasured and um, I'm just gonna use uncut ones, so. <sighs> so here I have my palette coaster. Um, let's see if it holds something. Oh look, it can hold things in, in a coaster manner. This one seemed like it was gonna be the easiest, but this one was very hard because you just want it to be even and then it doesn't get to be even and then I wanted to cut the ends but then I realized that the ends are too short and blah, 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 blah. so and then glue just gets everywhere because I don't have a better way of connecting everything ah. so palette coaster it's usable not very pretty but but it's usable and it's semi easy y you may burn your fingers but okay so the next thing is we're gonna be using some old books for the things the Pinterest post that I was actually looking at I did one of the DIYs last Christmas and this is it if I can't find a picture of it then this will just be a picture of me eating ice cream as a child this is the infamous paper I use for my Christmas DIY video. So I've had this R just kind of laying around and I never know what to do with it. So I see this and I like it. So we're gonna try that. So it looks like we just roll it up. This is really hard to do with the band-aid. Ha 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 ha, right on the place where I burned it myself before. Look at that. From this point on, I descended into madness because not only was it difficult to roll the paper because it was so weak and thin and ripped in my hands, but the hot glue would also get on my hands and the rolls of paper would not stay together. And the only thing that kept me sane was Hamilton, which I jammed out to quite a bit. <sighs> okay, it's done. Look at this. This was so hard to make. Oh wait, I forgot to do this little part. Oh, that's a little better, I guess. Still, this was very hard to make. The paper, again, is so weak. <sighs> that's that's my review of this DIY. <sighs> okay, is there anything else I could do with my weak paper? Okay, so we're gonna do another book one, and we're going to do this. And I have some stamps, so wait a second. Woo! So now I'm going to stamp and then put it in a frame that I just put down. And so I'm gonna put it in this frame. I'm going to not use that stamp and I'm just going to hand cut them out. Okay, okay, here it is. Uh, uh, uh. What have we learned today? Well, this video, I started off very well and then just kind of descended into madness and difficulty, so. I'm so exhausted right now. Crafting is so hard. So I really do love crafting and trying new things, even if I'm not very good at it. But I hope that you liked this video and these cool, cool crafts, and I hope that you have a great day.
a lot of my flower oh my thumb hurts so much oh my thumb hurts <laughs>